Hi everyone. The PCI committee was thinking that GPs across the island would like to know what eye health looks like. So we created four videos covering some of the basic functions. First, we'll do ward rounds, orders, then we'll do ward rounds, charting, then we'll do admitting a patient, doing orders, and then we'll do a communications features and customizations video. We can't demo exactly what it's like to use eye health in an IMO with all the complications and pressures of a real patient, but you'll get an idea of what the program looks like. This video will cover doing ward rounds and writing orders. So here I am in the patient's chart. A uh, patient's name is Tina. There's all her demographic information. And down the side here, you can see all the elements of a normal chart, vital signs, labs, documents. And these are in like a table of contents order. And you can see as I click, we're getting into the details of each one of those. You can also scroll uh, over in this section uh, to move in the table of contents as well. And I'm going to go see the patient on the wards, but first I'm going to check their vitals. So I can see a uh, graph of their temperature trend seems to be getting worse. Um, heart rate's taken a bit of a bump recently. Um, let's say the respirate looks like it's getting better, but let's say it's getting worse. And uh, maybe their O2 sats might be getting worse too, but the trend lines are quite handy. Uh, then I wrote a a quick subjective history after I saw them, did an objective exam and typed that in. Uh, note you don't have to put in um, the vitals or the labs there. There are no labs today because the program will put that in later when you write your note automatically. And now I better go write some orders. So here are the quick orders page, which is a collection of orders created by Vancouver Island physicians in the same discipline as you. So these might be all the hospitalist quick orders, but there will be a different tab for intensivist quick orders and ID doc quick orders. And they've grouped them like you see them here, diagnostics, laboratory meds. Uh, but you can move these headings around if you want to customize it uh, just the way you like it. And you can prop them open if you want them always open or always closed. And then over here you get your own set of favorites uh, that you can make customized just for you, and then you can file them however you like to file them. So I'm going to order chest x-ray, uh, CBC, electrolytes and creatinine, and I'm going to go over to my favorites and get some Lasix in case what we're dealing with here is really heart, fi heart failure. And in this case, I'm going to do a BMP, so a quick search of BMP. Let's do that stat. Good. Now, let's go and check these orders. Uh, let's see, uh, well, that's the, I don't really want to do the Lasix, so we're going to get rid of that. And that looks like it looks good. I know that they're going to ask me to give more information for the chest x-ray. Uh, proper medicine is to explain why you need it, so I'm going to modify before I uh, sign them. And this blue X says, please provide a reason. And it puts the cursor where you need to do, so we'll say cough. And uh, I just make that uh, go down small again, because those are the details of each of the order. And that looks pretty good, so I can sign those. And now if I go back into the patient's chart, and I think, oh, maybe the... Where's diagnostics? Let's say the radiologist uh, results show up there, and I see it's a pneumonia, and I need to add another order. So this is another way you can add orders. I'm going to add a, give them some Pictazo. And hit that order. And I said I'd add some Tylenol, so let's add that. Um, Let's cover them for a little while. That looks about right. Sign those. And it gives me a nice little warning to say, oh, you better change. If you want that da now, you better change it. So I'm going to say continue with it is. So now I'll go and show that all the orders I've made are actually in the list there. So under labs, you can see the BNP and the CBC and the electrolytes. And oops. There's the two medications I ordered. Oh, and the chest x-ray. So we're good. Making health IT easy for you and me. I'm Ian B.